Welcome to Season 10 of Lazy Gecko Sailing. We're going down. I'm going to go for it. From the beginning. Hit it, boys. No, it's not done yet, man. You're gonna blow us up. You're always giving me crap. Hundreds bug bite. Why do you why do you keep letting bugs bite you? What's that mean? That is one rough dingy ride. We hit the golf stream a little early. How much damage we get. We are all checked in. That's amazing, huh? This is our first beach in the berries. The hot spot won't work. Hope you like black coffee. It's next to the blue hole in the Bahamas. Some big freaking sharks. Just not working. So I don't know why the second one wouldn't be working. What did you do wrong, Jeremiah? I think they look for like charters mainly. Somebody said they were gonna go nap. Sorry, because it was all underwater. Your spaghetti dinner was about approximately $16. It's a really good bargain. You guys ready? Uh, I got two warm milks, bagel, sausage, banana. See, that's our problem. Yeah. So it's stopping the water from going into the water heater, dinging into the mangroves. Taco and Daddy are working together to get us through. She's ready. So now I'm doing working out and cooking. And he confirmed our props are stuck. turns that electrical signal into a mechanical. Did I get it? It all starts right now. This time on the Lazy Geckos, we're offshore along Florida's east coast. Next stop, just north of West Palm Beach to get this Bahamas crossing going. Let's do it. It's about 6 a.m. I woke up Jeremiah. He's just getting his contacts in and stuff. It's been a beautiful overnight sail. The head sail started luffing, so the wind direction kind of changed, so we took that down. We just have our main sail up right now. And it's about to be a nice, beautiful sunrise that Jeremiah will enjoy. I will go down for a little bit of sleep before we drop anchor in North Fort Lake Worth, I believe. And that's probably where we'll stay and figure out COVID testing off the Bahamas. So I think the weather's supposed to get pretty ugly for the next few days, so we'll probably just stay there and use that as our jumping point. Ready for a nice sunrise? Yeah. Three hour increments, so it's like as soon as you get into that REM sleep, you're up. The captain's on deck. He'll finish off our overnight sail and we'll pull into a sweet anchorage where we'll be for the next few days waiting on a weather window. It is a lovely day at anchor. Yesterday, we kind of just relaxed, took naps, and you know, settled in. And now we're just waiting on a weather window. Today, we have to go and get a COVID test before we can leave for the Bahamas. Today is Monday, and I think our weather window should be like Wednesday. But it's nice to wake up to a nice, relaxing anchorage. And there's a little breeze, like 20 knots, 15, 20 knots. So that makes it nice and cool. for some lunch and then uh, we're gonna go get our COVID test. Exciting. What nostril are you gonna pick? I'll do my left one. <laughs> I'm gonna go with my right. Figures were usually opposite. Well we just had a great lunch at the Waterway Cafe in North Lake Worth. And then uh, now we're walking over to the urgent care which is about a nine minute walk and we're gonna get our COVID test done. This whole protocol is new to us, but it's all right. It's all part of the adventure. We're here. This is a walk-in clinic in North Lake Worth, Florida, where you can grab a quick COVID test if you need. Yep. 
you have to get the PCR, so it's a specific one. And the doctor just told us a lot of people are coming in today. We're the sixth person to come in and get a COVID test for travel going to the Bahamas. So it makes perfect sense because we're in a perfect anchorage to jump off to the Bahamas and our weather window is in three to four days. Yeah. So you have to get the test within five days before you leave. Like you have a period of five days, but they call the day you get it day zero. So really you can look at it like you have six days. Take it out for me. Have oh, you ever had one of these before? No. No, never? No. <laughs> I can't I've had over 100, so. Oh, have wow. you? Okay, this one. I do both. Oh, geez. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and turn. Ready? Don't move. Just let it, let it happen. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't so bad, right? No. <laughs> Are you bleeding okay. or something? No, no. I've seen people bleed, but... Oh my yeah. gosh. It's like a little burning feeling. You retired from the Marines? Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. My buddy, he's, uh, he's in the Navy right now, but he's 11 years in. Yeah. He just cool. got back from the uh, deployment east of Georgia. And then just you need to stay in now. He's much tougher than I really? am. Really? That wasn't a bad deal. No, these are easy. These are agile. Yeah, yeah. Who do you think did better, mom or dad? You. Yeah. Oh. Did was, you enjoy that? It wasn't that bad. No, it's not bad. Like, during's not that bad. Afterwards, it feels like pressure and some burning. Well, that's probably the, the I don't know, syphilis or something. Okay. You didn't right. feel pressure and burning? No. Let's get out of here. You want to um, maybe get one? No, thank you. I'm glad you didn't have to get one. Let's go to the dinghy. Yeah. Yay! But we have to walk there. Yeah. It was simple overall. Plus, we got to land the dinghy and have lunch, a family favorite. That's a sketchy board right there. It's really windy. I think the ride back's gonna be worse. Yeah. It was super rough on the way here, and we're expecting even higher waves on the way back. Reese, can you hold my phone, my food? There are these cool little boat-friendly restaurants along the ICW in Florida. So much fun. All right, you know it's gonna be rough when you put on your West Marine floaty. I'm waiting. Huh? The life jacket. The life, okay, the life jacket. It's one of the three we keep in the dinghy all the time. But it's gonna get ugly out here, so. Because I have a secure one. Reese has a legit life jacket. Yeah, Reese has the nicest life jacket of us all on the dinghy. We have spin, spin locks on the boat, but I imagine it's going to be pretty rough. The winds are kicking. We would never normally go out in winds like this, but we needed a COVID test to go to the Bahamas to get our weather window, and our weather window happens right when the winds calm down. We wouldn't have been able to get our COVID test done in time, so we went for it. That's just how it is. It was bumpy, but doable. We had to come upwind a bit, but then it was a downwind motor to Calypso. There's our girl, waiting patiently for us right in this lovely anchorage located just north of the Lake Worth Inlet. It features decent wind protection along with outstanding holding. Good morning. It's another lovely morning at Anchor and we woke up to some good news. We got our COVID test back. Um, they were negative. I didn't expect anything different. Of course, we live on a boat, so we're barely exposed to the virus. Um, super excited. So it's a digital copy. It took less than 24 hours. Here's mine. Came just like this. Um, COVID, whatever, not detected, yada, yada, yada. So now I can move forward with filling out our Bahamas health visa. So I started to fill it out and then I had to stop because we had to get our COVID test so I could submit it. You just go on, travel.gov.bs 
super easy or you can just Google it and it comes up create an account and then go to town so I had to create a pr profile and then I had to upload my travel document which is my passport and then I had to um, add a trip basically like when we're leaving we're leaving in two days what time we think we'll arrive where we plan to what port we plan to arrive in upload our COVID test give the details about the laboratory that did the testing and really that was it put like our vessel number and then I did that submitted to them it still says pending they say online it takes like 24 hours so we should know by tomorrow we're taking off tomorrow night if they accept it so everything's working out flawlessly I'm happy we got the test done and we're hitting the markers and hopefully we'll be on our way to the Bahamas weather looks good it looks like it might be a little windy um, but hopefully that calms down and doesn't get even windier because of course that would postpone our trip as well but super excited it's a little hot here on the boat today jeremiah is working on a video he is trying to get it all done before we go which isn't easy because he has to create three videos one for youtube one for vimeo one for our server so we don't have just the typical create one video for youtube i imagine i'll be doing voice over here soon I'm just waiting to be called. Um, otherwise, it's a beautiful day here. Breezy, so there's lots of wind flowing in, and we're loving it. How's the weather looking tomorrow? Not good. Oh, darn. Um, as of right now, Wendy has the wind shifting to be right on our nose at 20 knots when we're supposed to leave to go across the Gulf Stream. So we'll see how it goes. Well, either way, I'm still prepping for tomorrow. I'm making jambalaya for dinner tonight, and I'm gonna make double so we can have it for tomorrow night dinner it'll be easy i'm gonna use my instapot tonight and then tomorrow i'll just heat it up in the microwave along the way if we do leave if we don't i'll be a little annoyed because this is my bahamas crossing meal i'll just come up with something else not a big deal so i've added my stuff to my instapot my veggies put some sausage in here this is great because this is a meal that jeremiah and i can both eat so right now i have the veggies cooking in the instapot sauteing and then i'm going to heat my sausage and then i'll heat my chicken um for the rice i'll use a brown rice like a brown long grain rice and it's really neat because the whole family can eat this with my restricted diet um because i change things like the rice and just i won't eat the sausage i'll kind of pick that out i'll only eat the, ch the chicken um so it works we are at anchor it's a little hot and whenever you cook it gets pretty freaking hot what do you make it? It's actually our crossing meal for tomorrow. I'm doubling it up. But, um. Hold on. Look. There goes the idiot waking us. That's what it looks like when they do it. Through the anchorage, full speed. They do that here a lot in South Florida. Approvals. Yeah, we got approved. Bahamas yeah. approved us, our health certificates. Yeah. All we have to do now is pay. Let's wait and see if we get weather. Yeah, we're going to wait. So the winds are super high, 20 knots on our bow for our crossing. So I don't know if we'll be crossing now. That's how we'll it see. is, like you go back and forth, go back. Okay. We don't want this condensation inside the boat, so you do this outside. You smell it? Yeah, it smells really good. Wait, no, I do this. Ah. Don't burn yourself. Woo! So you gotta, like, wind. You gotta like blow your hair back, you gotta like, Cause it's like a smoke, but you're gonna oh, smell yeah. like cooked chicken. <laughs> <laughs> My hair's gonna smell great when you sit next to me. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, there it goes. There. Oh, that's great. Okay, I think we're good. I'm gonna open. <laughs> no, it's not done yet, man. You're gonna blow us up. What? That thing's oh. under pressure. Come on, man. You might not blow us up, but it's not gonna release until it's out of pressure. Yeah, usually you do this part. It's almost done. See? See, so there's pressure in it. You don't want to do it. It's like a radiator. It takes a while. Yeah. It's a long time for an impatient girl. You know, a lot of times I'm out here for a while. I'm out here for at least two minutes and <laughs> it's nice rough. <laughs> do you know what you're doing? Honey, usually you do this part. It will go when it's done. If it's not done, it it's won't done. go. It's done. Oh. See? Oh, you're right. I know, I'm yeah. always right. All right. Oh, sh Look at that. Jambalaya, it's still bubbling. Dang. Isn't that crazy? I'm gonna put my lid back on in case I drop it.
Aha! Batteries are at 60%, so we are thoroughly enjoying this AC moment, huh? I feel nice and snuggly. Yeah. We were just watching a show together. That's what we do at night. Especially if we have data. Yeah, we well right now spot. we're in like a sweet spot because we're supposed to go to the Bahamas, so we purchased the Google Fi. And um, that means, but we still have Verizon because I don't yeah. want to cancel it yet in case we don't go. So we have like all this extra data that we're not used to. Yeah, we have one of these little Google, like, or no, whatever that is, like Verizon Fi, whatchamacallit, no, hotspots. You're confusing two together. It's not Verizon Fi. Oh, it's shit. a Verizon hotspot. Well, I have, I've, had a, I've had a double scotch, so. It is. It's like a MiFi. MiFi, that's what it's called. All right. That's why. That's why it's confusing me. It's a my <laughs> What are you talking about? Yeah. So this is what we lay right here, and then boom, got the TV up there. We'll watch a show. Oh ah. my gosh! Up in bed with you. <laughs> You're gonna like poke me in the Hello. face. Hello, dear. Hi. How you doing? Good. How are you? Good. So. You don't just want to come snuggle? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? I don't know. I All was right. actually putting the camera away. Well, what you're you being doing? boring. I'm gonna go brush my teeth. Are you done with the water yet? There is no water. What are you talking about? Are you done with the water yet? Did yeah. You the water off on me? Yeah, I did. I, I turned off the water pump. When we're on the dock, you're so worried about a water leak that you're like, oh. did you turn off the, are you done with the water yet so you can turn off the water? Oh, right. I wonder how many boats do that. Like, I think that they're, you're in the 1%. Yeah. Well, I worry about a lot of things. I know. You're going to worry your life away. Yeah. Okay, no, I'm not going to worry my life away. You are. No. Yeah. But, uh, so we're looking at, uh, both of our tanks are like the same right now. Just a little bit under a half. That's nice. Yeah, and it's all drinking water. Yeah, drinking, showering, anything you need. Hey, I have what? a question. What? Does the way I brush my teeth still bother you? No. What was it about brushing my teeth that bothered well, you? Well, nothing ever bothered me, but it was always kind of funny the way you had just like held your mouth open and like how to hold my mouth open what are you even talking about ah man there you go yeah now see it today you're closing your lips yeah it, uh, you would just do it like for, you brush your teeth for like six minutes who unnecessary no you brush your teeth for like six minutes but well i will say you've never had a cavity so exactly yeah. can you say that nope do you brush your teeth for two minutes yeah, two minutes. You brush them for six. <laughs> it is true. I will still be, I will start brushing. You will come in after me, start brushing, flossing, and do mouthwash, and I'll still be brushing. Yeah, it's ridiculous. <laughs> it's a ridiculous amount of time. Enjoy, dear. Coming up on the Lazy Geckos. Today is passage day. Somebody said they were going to go now. Bahamas time. It is. They accepted the COVID test. Two to four for the first part of the night. We hit the Gulf Stream a little early. How much damage we get is halfway up the damn map. We are all checked in. And later this season. Oh, sorry, let's just start off. Tell me this isn't like a commercial. It's a huge stingray down here. How cool is that, dude? Pretty awesome, and nobody's here. Gonna try to submerge it in water. We're going down. It's called Soldier's Key. She does keep <laughs> There's a lightning storm. In You're gonna go for it, huh? I have to. You're always giving me crab, toiletries, snacks. We have any sharks circling the boat? A big reason why we stayed in the States for so long. Eight rounds of antibiotics. This is the windy application. We'll do it. There you go. What did you do wrong, Jeremiah? Want more? Check us out at lazygeckos.net. Remember, patrons can get complimentary access. You can also visit our Vimeo channel. The link is below. Don't forget to click subscribe to get all of the fun. See you next week.